Today, let's dive into one of the most mind-blowing concepts in physics, called the Heisenberg's Uncertainty Principle. Imagine you're trying to measure the exact position and momentum of a particle, like an electron. Sounds simple, right? But here's where things get interesting. According to Werner Heisenberg, a German physicist, it's impossible to know both the exact position and momentum of a particle at the same time. That's right, the more precisely you know one, the less precisely you can know the other. This is not just a limitation of our measuring tools, it's a fundamental property of nature itself. Think about it. If you know exactly where a particle is, its momentum becomes a blur of possibilities. Conversely, if you know its momentum precisely, the particle's position is uncertain. Trippy, isn't it? So why does this happen? Well, it all boils down to the wave-like nature of particles. In the quantum world, particles like electrons exhibit both particle and wave characteristics. When you try to pin down a wave's exact location, you disturb its momentum, and vice versa. It means there's a limit to what we can know about the universe. As Heisenberg said, the universe we look at is the universe we see, and quantum mechanics actually made us realize how wrong we were in our view of this universe. A whole new universe of understanding, possibilities, and uncertainties. In 1926, Werner Heisenberg began to develop a theory based on wave mechanics while trying to make sense of this new universe. And he realized that something went wrong when you tried to measure the position and velocity of a particle at the same time. No matter what you did, you couldn't simultaneously measure a particle's position and velocity. Here, you can infer that the person making the measurement interferes with the experiment. That is, it affects the experiment. This was the explanation of the double-slit experiment. But Heisenberg's inference was that the impossibility of measuring these two states simultaneously, velocity and position, was an underlying feature of the world of subatomic particles. This statement by Heisenberg shook the physics world deeply. He was only 26 years old when he made this statement. The whole world of physics was hoping that there would somehow be an explanation for these unpredictable particle motions. Because until now, something in classical physics was based on a theory and a formula. Quantum mechanics tells us that it is impossible to know the exact velocity and position of a particle. This is because what we call a particle is actually a wave, and what we call a wave is actually a particle. At the point we have reached in today's physics, we now know that every particle has a wavelength. However, these wavelengths are so small that we cannot see them with the naked eye. But how small is this number? The relationship between momentum and wavelength for matter waves is given by P equals H over lambda, or lambda equals H over P, known as de Broglie's hypothesis, where P represents momentum and H is Planck's constant. The de Broglie equations show that the wavelength is inversely proportional to the momentum of the particle. To understand this, let's take a closer look at Planck's constant. As momentum increases, the wavelength decreases to incredibly small numbers. The momentum formula, denoted by P, is given by mass times velocity m vi. In short, the increase in mass and velocity is parallel to the increase in momentum. Therefore, the smaller a particle is, the larger its wavelength, and the more wave-like it behaves, resulting in greater uncertainty. For example, even humans have a wavelength because we are all made of atoms. However, it is not possible for us to observe this wavelength, and because of this, the uncertainty in our actions is significantly reduced. It is clear where we will fall when we trip over a stone, or where we will land when someone pushes us. The wavelength of particles and their unpredictable motions exist everywhere in the universe, and classical physics falls short here. In quantum mechanics, everything is a possibility. The universe is a sea of possibilities. But does this uncertainty mean that we can't know anything exactly? Of course not. We can make very close guesses. Erwin Schrödinger, who we know as Schrödinger's cat with his thought experiment, presented this quantum probability, that is, an equation for how to calculate the wave motion of particles. This equation also led to a change in Niels Bohr's atomic model, which we know classically. As a result of the uncertainty principle, the exact location of the electron around the nucleus cannot be found, resulting in this model. This cloudy area around the nucleus in the new model of the atom is where the electron could be. 
Schrodinger's equation also allows us to do this calculation. But it is precisely here that the most serious debates in quantum mechanics take place. Schrodinger himself once said, I don't like it, and I'm sorry I ever had anything to do with it. This sentiment captures the paradoxical beauty and frustration within the world of quantum mechanics. Before measuring, the electron is actually all over that cloudy field. This is what we call quantum superposition, the probability of a particle being in more than one place, like in the double-slit experiment or Schrodinger's cat. In short, we do not learn by measuring its location. We're just narrowing down the probability of where the electron could be found. By measuring, we force it to be in a certain place. This is where Heisenberg comes into play. Okay, you've measured the particle and forced it to be somewhere, but that measurement isn't exact either. Here is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The existing scientific concepts cover always only a very limited part of reality, and the other part that has not yet been understood is infinite. Whenever we proceed from the known into the unknown, we may hope to understand, but we may have to learn at the same time a new meaning of the word understanding. With this principle, Heisenberg said, no matter how good the measuring instrument is, no matter how sensitive it is, you can only know the position or velocity of a particle or an electron up to a certain level. If you want precise information about its position, you cannot have a complete idea of its momentum. In short, the uncertainty principle implies that it is in general not possible to predict the value of a quantity with arbitrary certainty, even if all initial conditions are specified. That's Heisenberg's universe. That is, the mathematics we know and the universe we see are now different here. Everything in the universe is the sum of these imprecise, unpredictable particles, and more strangely, there is an invisible bond between all these particles. Although you can see chaos when you look at the universe, the universe is actually a chaotic order in itself. Classical physics may turn you into an atheist, but things could change when you understand the universe using quantum mechanics. The first gulp from the glass of natural sciences will turn you into an atheist, but at the bottom of the glass, God is waiting for you. Werner Heisenberg As we delve deeper into the quantum world, we begin to see the interconnectedness of all things, this invisible bond between particles suggests a hidden order within the apparent chaos. This quantum connection hints at a deeper, perhaps even spiritual, understanding of the cosmos. The more we learn, the more we realize how much there is left to discover. It's a humbling and exhilarating journey that reminds us of the infinite possibilities that lie ahead.